Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you some stuff I forgot to show you in the last video. So as you know, this is Sunny Select and we actually want to uh, mix our animations together, especially if they're uh, H animations. So, um, for an example over here, I loaded up a male character and a female character. The male character is already in his initial pose which is caress, kiss, if I'm not mistaken. Caressing, kiss. Let's go with, um, no, that's lying. Let's go with a pre-weight, standing kiss. And, yep, over here, what you can do, actually, is um, move your characters manually. But, uh, yeah, you know, that's not very efficient, so let's go ahead and show you how you do that to align them perfectly without actually doing it manually. Pre-weight, so both characters are in their position, but you see they're not aligned. So what you can do over here is control select both characters and do move copy. That's gonna move the character exactly to the right position where the animation should be. And if you want it to be synchronized, real, as I showed you in my last video. Now the animation is synced. I'm not going to show you another example to keep things safe for work over here, but this is pretty much it. Alright, next off let's do something quick and cool with this pose. Personally, I like this pose. I like to see it at many angles pretty fast. So what I can do is go in the camera section over here. And uh, what if I want to do is uh, save this view for instance I'm gonna do this seems like a good view so what you're gonna do is save on one of your cameras by clicking save now we have one camera set now I like to get one of this angle press save on your second camera and it's saved now I want this angle as well so press save on your third camera and we'll do one last one for the fourth camera save in the pose you want alright now if I want to check all the angles of this pose simply press your cameras that's camera 1 camera 2 camera 3 and camera 4 it's very useful when you have a lot of characters in your scene and you want, you know, get, get to get a fixed camera pretty fast on your character. For instance, I've loaded two other characters over here and set the cameras to 7, I mean 8, 9, 10. If I press 8, I've got my first character. If I press 9, I've got another character. And if I press 10, I got my third character. If you look at this scene from far away, it looks like this. Having cameras over here makes it easier for me to travel in this scene, as I can change from any character I want in just a, in just a click. I understand I went pretty fast with the parenting in my last video, so I want to make sure everybody uh, really understands how it actually works. Whoop, that's Facebook again. I need to turn off Facebook before making these. I set up a volleyball and a camera over here. You can see that each of them have their individual pivot points. If I want to parent them, press one of them, control select another one and parent them. Now if you can see, if I turn the pivot point of the master, which is the volleyball, since it's the one I selected first, both of them are going to rotate. If you go in your group, you can actually rotate each one individually. You've probably noticed this little button over here called map. It's grayed out because we don't have a map loaded yet. Go in here, add a map. Let's say hot springs. Alright, now your button is set to on. That means you can mess around with your map settings. These are pretty obvious, 
you usually know what they mean just by looking at them. If you hold and drag, you can change the map's position. Same goes for the vertical move and rotation axis. Well, this is, well. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right, you can also enter the units manually over here. <laughs> I don't see why you do that, but you know they're still there. There's also a button over here called free. If you click on it, it's gonna lock your camera. No matter how hard you try, camera is gonna stay there. If you wanna unlock it, click again. It'll free your camera. You can click Ctrl D to duplicate an object or come over here on your copy object. That's going to duplicate your object very easily. <laughs> if some are wondering how to get your background black like this one, go over here in, in your system tab to configuration. Go to background color and change it. If you do not see this, it's because your color over here is to gray. To turn it back on, just simply press a button. The default studio, if I remember right, begins about like this. I don't like working like this, it's too bright for me, so I put it always to blackish gray. There we go, that's easy on the eyes. Well, that was pretty much it for these additional tips for Honey Select Studio Neo. As always, if you have any questions or anything, even tips that can help me grow even better at this, um, simply comment in the comment section below. If you feel like subscribing or leaving a like, that always helps. So, have a good evening everyone.